Hello and welcome to this webinar from NMIS Skills. I'm Lewis Ross and today I'm going to be giving you a bit of a tour of the website to show you what we've got on there and highlight some things that you might find useful because we've talked about it a lot in some of our other webinars so we thought we should really show you exactly what's on there. So that's what I'll be doing for you today. So what I will do is I'll quickly share my screen with you and then we can have a look at the website. So let's just move my face down here so I'm not in the way. Um, so on the main page, you'll find a bunch of information about what the actual project is. So a lot of you to read there about it. You'll also find a nice link to uh, some slides which give you an overview of what the project outputs are and tweets from us. So if you want to follow our Twitter account, it's at NMIS, NMI, bleh, NMIS underscore skills. So you can get on there and we tweet quite regularly uh, about various things that are useful within Kind of the sphere of manufacturing and education. So it could be a good thing for you to look at there. We've also got on there uh, the overview video that we first did, so you can look at that. And we were featured as an open education website, which is really good. What's also worth mentioning here is that everything on this website is lic licensed under Creative Commons. Um, so you can take the website, modify it, change it how you want to use it and reuse it in any way that you see fit. That's under Creative Commons BY, so you have to credit us of saying that it was us that originally did it. But apart from that, you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, also worth pointing out that we do have our limited li limitation of liability statement there, um, and further legal documents, I'll just stop that highlighting, are in our terms and conditions section for you to read if you're uh, wanting to become an NMIS pastor or share anything with the community, all the legal stuff's there. Um, Yep, you can also learn a lot about um, the project here, and we've got a special section that's got even more information for you if you're interested in that, um, and some interesting videos about the NMIS project in general, as opposed to just our project, because we're just a, a sub-project of the larger National Manufacturing Institute of Scotland. Bit of a tongue twister, that one. Eventually, one day, I'll be able to say it easily. Um, also, which could be quite interesting if you're wanting to take this website and alter its contents or you want to produce something similar. If you go to the About This Website section, uh, you'll find links to all the tools that I use to build this site. So the fact that it's built in um, Google uh, Sites in G Suite, uh, that we're using Zoom meetings for doing these webinars that I'm presenting right now. And Slides Carnival is the site I use to get all the templates for all the slides I use in the webinars. Uh, Unsplash is a great source for royalty-free images, really good quality photographs um, that you can use the license on them, basically says you can do anything that you want with them except for building a site that's like Unsplash. That's their only condition, you don't even need to credit them. I always credit them because I think it's good to give people credit for the work they've done. Uh, flat icon, similarly get access to lots of free uh, icons that have um, mostly Creative Commons licenses on them. Um, if you're unsure of the terms of Creative Commons, it's basically a way of sharing your work with other people, allowing them to use it. Um, so you, you're not having the all rights reserved copyright kind of thing. You're, you're giving up some of those rights so people can use it. Um, I'll probably end up doing a, a whole webinar about that later on because it's a very useful tool um, for people. And also on here, you'll find the image credits to all the images I've used in the website. Um, you can go to the development team section, learn a bit about all of us. Here's our bios and our lovely mugs. Um, it's everyone involved in the project there that you can uh, have a look at. Uh, what's probably the stuff that you are mostly interested in is things such as the program and the community. And we'll have a look at the community section first. We've got about four aspects to our community section. So first of all, teach meets that we'll be organizing soon. Um, when we do get those up, if you go to the section, you'll get details about how to sign up for them, where they're going to be. The plan at the moment is to have them in Edinburgh, Glasgow, and Aberdeen. Uh, and it'll be a kind of informal gathering of people to come together and share some of their practice in the kind of a digital teaching area. So it can be really useful if you're getting started and you want to learn some new things, or if you're embedded in that practice already and you're wanting to share it with some other people, some cool things you've come up with. And we're very excited for them because we're looking really forward to seeing them. Um, also here, you'll find the section on our forum. So this links to our Google group, which has basically an online forum. It's kind of an old school forum. Um, I'll quickly, actually I won't open it up because I'm signed as an admin and it might give away some people's email addresses that don't want to be uh, given away. So I'll, I'll avoid showing you that for the moment. 
But if you take that link, it'll take you to the group where you can then apply to join. A message will then come through to me and I'll approve you to the group and then you can get on there and chat with other people and discuss things, share links, anything you want to talk about that's related to um, our digital teaching arena. Very simple and easy to use, just like kind of traditional web forums. Also on this page, you'll find links to directly to the different sections of the forums. They're all themed around the different webinars. Um, as well as that, we have our ambassadors section. Uh, this is where you can get some information about signing up for the ambassadors program. Uh, the ambassadors program, basically, we're looking to get representatives for the project in all the kind of institutions in Scotland, as many as we can. Um, and to have those people as a kind of first point of contact and to help spread the word of digital teaching and stuff. And in return for you doing that, we will give you access to a G Suite account, which will give you access to a bunch of the Google tools. Um, you'll get more information about that when you sign up or for exactly how you can use them and stuff. But if you have a look at the G Suite for Education, those are the kind of tools we're going to be giving you access to. And we've discussed them, a lot of them in the webinars already. Really useful tools to have. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, there's a little form embedded in the page here. You just need to put in your details, just your name, your organizational email address, um, what the organization you work for is, and your role. And then there's a little um, thing you have to consent to for us to store your data. Um, and again, if you're interested in the kind of legal signing up for that stuff, um, check out the terms and conditions. They're all there on the website under home terms and conditions. Um, Okay, also in our community section, we have organizations. So we're hoping to bulk this out to a larger link. We've got a, a list, I should say. We've got a few links to organizations already, but we're wanting to have more and more people uh, involved. And if you officially like your organization listed on here um, as helping to support us, then you can fill out this form and we'll put a link up. We don't need too much information for that one, uh, but we want people to kind of consent to it. We're not just going to randomly throw you on there because um, we're not affiliated with any of those organizations. I'll say this is just more, more us giving people links to places to get more useful information. Okay, so the main kind of bulk of stuff is in our program section. So first of all, you'll find links in here when a webinar goes live. So you can see right now I'm live with this. I'm not going to click link to this link because it will then try to make me join the webinar I'm in part of right now. You'll also find information on our schedule, link to our YouTube channel to get the old ones, um, and what we're doing. So basically in April, May, we'll be running through the webinars from start to end, um, uh, every Tuesday at 2 p.m. and every Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Same again in May, and in June, we'll get feedback from people and see what times are convenient for them in case people aren't able to make those times. Uh, you'll then get links to the different uh, webinar themes. Let's pick a random one, let's go online assessment. Uh, and then each of the webinar sections has a few things. It'll, when a webinar is going to be going up soon, there'll be information here. Um, we've also got a link to the webinar recording. So if I click on this, you'll see it'll open the YouTube video. Here we go. Um, where you can watch the old webinars. There's my ugly mug and Joe as well. Um, and then, whoop, let's come try and open it again. Please stop, there we go. And you'll also see that you can get access to the slide decks as well, so you can get in there, look at the slides. All the slides are Creative Commons licensed as well, so you can take them, download them, change them, do anything you want with them and make use of them. Uh, we really encourage you to do that because the whole point of this is to build these resources for people to use. We're not precious about them, we don't hold on to them um, with both hands or anything. Uh, we want you to go out there and use them. So if there's just even a single slide, you're like, that's really useful for something I'm doing, grab it and use it, we're more than happy. Tell us about it as well. We'd love to hear what you're using them for. Um, there's also links on each page to the, the specific forum section that relates to that section. Uh, the video playlists. So these are our YouTube playlists um, that are videos that are themed around that uh, topic. So in this case, it's all about online uh, assessment. Is that the section I'm in? Yes, it is. Um, so you can watch some videos on YouTube that might be interesting. I'll point you out here that this little button up here is the link to the whole list of the playlists. So you don't have to watch through every video, you can just jump to the one that you're interested in. And then below that, you'll see a selected resources section with some nice big colorful logos and stuff, uh, which is linked to useful things that were mentioned in that webinar. So Kahoot and Google Forms, for uh, instance here. 
And below that, you'll then find other resources, which is links to even further resources. So if you really want to go a deep dive, there can be some useful stuff in there. So that's all in the program section. Uh, in our resources section, we have a bunch of different things. Uh, obviously, there's a link to our YouTube channel, so you can go and see that. Go and delve around our playlists and videos, um, have a look at stuff. We've also then got a section on the skills frameworks. So all of the things we've done, the web, how the webinars are focused, they're focused around um, some of the digital capabilities um, from JISC, building digital capabilities. You can click on that to read their document, all about that. And the professional standards for lecturers in Scotland's colleges is what we've based our things on. So we looked at the standards they presented in there and the capabilities that JISC said, and we tried to um, then focus our webinars around that so they fit into those frameworks. So we're not just telling you useless things that you don't need to know about. Um, it's things that can help in your professional development. Um, or if you're not even kind of in Scotland's colleges, you might be working in industry and not really heard of DISC. They're still topics that are very useful. These are things that have been identified by these large organizations as um, being required learning almost for uh, people who work in those sectors. So then you also get a list here of the mapping, so how the different webinars map to the different capabilities or professional standards in this case. So have a look at that. That will allow you to just know what's, if you're in, interested in a specific topic such as identity management and well-being, where can you find out a bit about that? Okay, so back up to the top. We've also then got our webinar references. This is our really detailed list of, of the references that we've used for building the webinars. So you'll find them all here. They're all in Harvard format. Um, so you can go and find uh, the links to everything that we've mentioned. I think pretty much everything's in there. Um, real kind of deep dive, as you can see. So give that a look if you're looking for a specific resource that we haven't linked somewhere else, they'll be in there. Uh, we have a next step section, which is just a link to a couple of things. Um, link to the college here. City of Alaska Colleges does a PDA in technology enhanced, technology enhanced learning and teaching. So if you're looking to get a formal qualification in using this technology in your teaching practices, you might be interested in that. There's also a link to the CMALT. So if you're more of, um, the CMALT stands for a chartered member of the Association of Learning Technologists. So if maybe you're in the learning technology side of the things, you're a real professional in this digital technology, you might be interested in doing that and getting a kind of recognition for your uh, practice and getting a qualification from it. So there's a few things in there. If there's any other things that you, you know, know of, some really good courses that people might want to go on, um, do tell us on the forums or via our email, which is contact at nmis-skills.org. Um, we'll put them up there. We're very keen to get the community involved in helping bring more resources to the front. And last but not least is our further resources section. I think this is possibly one of the most useful sections on the website. This is a link to just lots of different resources that might be useful to you and descriptions of them. So talking about lynda.com, we haven't really mentioned that in any of our webinars because it's mostly a paid for service and we tend to try and highlight free things. But it's really good learning so you could learn how to um, do accountancy or how to do programming, stuff like that is all available on lynda.com. Uh, similarly, FutureLearn has a great a selection of um, mostly, I think, free, I think most of the courses on there are, um, which you might want to take to learn some more about various topics we've covered. Uh, and lots of different things in here. One Minute CPD is really good. It's a blog where it's um, lots of things that only take you a minute to learn about and then can really improve your practice. Really, really good stuff. So tons on there. Um, including a whole book about teaching in digital age, which you can get a link to. Lots and lots of stuff. Um, and obviously with the website, it's got a search feature. So if you are looking for something, you can get at it there. Um, right, so that's basically the entire website there. Um, hopefully that's been useful to, to you, just giving you a bit of a tour of what resources we have available. Uh, we should hopefully be starting up the main webinar schedule again either this week or next week. So I'm recording this on the 23rd of April. So it should be the week after, I think, or maybe this Thursday that we're getting things started again. Uh, so do tune in, keep an eye on the website for upcoming webinars, and of course those teach meets that we hope to do soon. And we're also working on developing some new webinars. So there could be some more exciting ones um, coming in. We're working on a digital wellbeing webinar at the moment, which we hope to have ready soon. So we can trying to expand our topics as well as we go along. So uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, hopefully you found something useful there and hopefully we'll see you at the next live webinar.